What's up guys? It's that time, finally. Five months have passed by since I got my hair transplant back in March 21st. Okay, so a little bit has changed. Um, some of the spots that were thin in the last update video have thickened out a lot. Uh, my horseshoe appearance has gotten a lot better. It's sort of straightened out because all the new growth has uh, come in a lot longer. So I'll just go ahead and comb through and show you the improvements that I've, I've been making here. If I can focus. My last video didn't focus very well, so I'm going to try and focus a little better. Okay, that's a little better there. It's really thickened up a lot over here on my right side. I didn't have too many problems with that to begin with. So yeah, you can you can see like the uh, single hair grafts where he placed in the front of my hairline. They've thickened up a lot. See, so yeah, I had some um, some thinner areas like right around in here somewhere. My fourth month mark, it's really filled in a lot. Again, I had 2,000 grafts implanted about right up in here, my mid hairline all the way to the front. So, made a lot of improvements. Uh, my hair is really curly, so and I'm sweating right now. So right now I just kind of brush it to the side to give it more straight appearance. And uh, yeah, overall I'm really happy with the progress I'm making. I still want to picking up some areas in here but that's going to come in the next month so we'll see and I'm going to answer some questions that I've been getting a lot here. This is what it's looking like when it's wet. Try and show you my donor scar while my hair is wet here. So one question I get a lot of is why did I choose FUT versus FUE? Um, it really comes down to preference. For me, it was a slightly cheaper option, and I've always heard that you can move more hair with FUT versus FUE. Um, I have really thick and curly hair, especially in the back of my head, so I knew that I could get more density for less money, and for me that was very enticing. 
I didn't really like the idea of having a lot of holes poked into my head versus just a strip taken out. I mean, it's really up to you and you need to discuss it with your doctor what your best option is, especially if you're trying to move a lot of hair. I personally feel like FUT is a lot better for that and um, since my hair is so thick it covers it up you know, really well. I couldn't even see a scar when I was trying to comb through it and show you guys. Like you can, re you can barely see if you really try. But um, I would think somebody with a lot thinner hair might want to go with the FUE option. I'm not really sure. Obviously, you need to discuss that with your doctor. But um, yeah, so I got 2,000 grafts implanted into my frontal and mid hairline, March 21st, 2017. FUT. I also had PRP treatment done. That's just where they take your blood, mix it with a cell mattress stem, I think, and um, inject it into your scalp to help the recovery. I haven't gotten any zits or ingrown hairs. Um, I do take care of my scalp. You know, I clean it every day. But um, I just haven't had any problems with that. And I think PRP really helped with my recovery. And uh, I started seeing results around the three-month mark. Like, I started seeing new growth. But in my last video is when I really started to see the growth and um, the density and the length come in. And now in the five-month mark, my hairline is finally evening out. And... Um, thickening up a lot and I'm very proud of my results and <laughs> I can't wait to see how I'm going to look in a month from now or even you know five months down the road it's crazy for now I'm going to keep my hair short just because I want to revisit my doctor back in March I mean in next March so that I can show my progress and uh, after that I might shave my head and just let it grow for a whole year so I can have long hair again because I really wanted to do, you know like kind of style it a little differently but I'm also taking finasteride and minoxidil I paid $7,000 for the procedure itself, plus PRP. Let's see, anything else? If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm going to be making a video every month. I don't do daily or weekly up uploads, because I just think it. you can see more progress month by month. Now, I, I do watch those videos when people post them, but personally, I just rather do month by month, because I can see such a big difference. And I'll post a... Uh, a couple of pictures of what I looked like before the procedure that way you can get an idea of how much or how far I've come in five months so yeah next month is gonna be even better and I hope you guys join me for the next video thanks